All right, welcome back to the Music Nest. Thank you for joining us again. It's Louis Love here, and uh, hope you're doing marvelous out there. Uh, we're here down in uh, the southwest of Australia, just south of Margaret River, uh, and I uh, have the honor and pleasure to introduce you uh, Mulligal, a.k.a. Flash Black Didge. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah, so uh, this man is quite the character. He's a very hands-on man. He makes his own didges, and um, yeah, he's going to do a little performance for us today. Love to. Yeah. yeah. Would you like to say any words before you start? Yeah, sure. This is one of my babies. I made this one 20 years ago. I got about 12 digits, <clears throat> five surfboards and lots and lots of tools and toys all over the place. But if everything burns down, this is the thing I go back for. I, I can't replace this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's my baby. It's another limb. Play you a song. Yeah, well, we can't wait to hear it. Yeah, mate. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, yeah, thank you, brother. Yo, 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 yo,
Monocle, that was awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, wow. <laughs> like, uh, thanks. Uh, I, n I never really experienced a dig player, um, you know. I know I'm tooting your own horn a bit, but uh, I'm like, with sincerity, like when I first heard you play at um, uh, the Duff at Mindful Earth um, yeah. and you opening that, I, I was really uh, gobsmacked. So I uh, really appreciate you coming on the Music Nest. Pleasure, brother. Thank you for having me, mate, honestly. Now you're thanks. very talented. Thank yeah. you, brother. Yeah. Thank you, mate. So Appreciate what's good? It. What's happening? You know, love and life. Spring has sprung, and mm. honestly, man, it's time yeah. that I, I played. You know, it's time I played more for more people. You know, uh, mm. you know, uh, it's a life is pretty good, man. I, I've worked my way into a position in life where I don't really have to worry too much. I have a lot of things weighing me down, and uh, mm. and I'm free to just explore the things that I like, like woodwork and surfing and being in the bush and playing the ditch. You know? Yeah. That's the way yeah. to be. It's a way in, yeah. Relaxed, yeah. happy, uh -huh. stress-free. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then bringing people like yourself mm. into it, you know, to share it with. Yeah. That's the special thing, really, you know. Exactly. Uh, yeah, create mm. good vibes. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. The reason I've been able to get to the point to be able to play like that, bro, like, you know, you, 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 what you get out of things is directly proportional to what you put in. Yeah, yeah. Most people understand that, but... Particularly if you, any anyone who have gotten to a point where their their uh, their skill set has become subconscious and they're not thinking about what they're doing, they're just in it. Mm -hmm. The difference between a guitarist who's technically brilliant and can read the music, and another guitarist who loves that song, and they're almost the same. But the one who loves the song is the one that you feel and hear because he's invested in it. You know mm. that that person's invested in the music. Mm. Well, the digits, it's not an instrument to me, mate. I'm very lucky to. I'm indigenous to start with, but I've got also got this other unique combination of things where I've got a loud voice. I can sing, not that I do sing, but I can yell. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can speak, obviously, but my <laughs> mind works in pictures and shapes and numbers, uh, not numbers, pictures, shapes, colours, that sort of thing, and I've got mm. a deep connection to the natural world around me, mate, really deep. Yeah. So when I'm playing the ditch, it was always a way for me to just to fall into this place where I'm intensely aware of everything around me and you're, you're not chasing it and you're not trying to catch up with it mm. and you're not breathing it's all about your breath work and you're not like pushing this way and that mm. you're just in it mm. so a lot of people when they pick up a dig especially after they see me playing mm. and the cheeks are going up and down there's a vein pulsing and the things going up and down all yeah. this sound is coming out and someone will go I want to have a go and I go 
<laughs> like, bro, just stop licking your lips. Just yeah. chill. Yeah. Because you don't speak like that. You don't go... <laughs> mm. You let a breath out, and you relax, and you just let the words come out. And, yeah, and right. that's how I play. Mm. More than that, though, like... Yeah. I'm really aware of... I can hear those cows in the distance, mate. Yeah. I'm aware of those birds. I can feel your eyes on me. I'm intensely aware of the ground and the earth and everything coming through me. And, and it's not some hippie, deep spiritual thing, although it is. It's a real thing, <laughs> you know? And I don't always explain it, but it's a real thing. And you just mm. absorb it. You just let it mm. fall into you. Mm. And then she comes back out through Dij onto country and into Jarrah. And that's a, the traditional way to play. That's why we play properly. And, mm. you know, people seek different yeah, ways to find that way yeah. in, you know? Yeah, I feel you, brother. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, music has uh, an unbelievable effect when we have uh, the chance to experience someone perform it uh, like yourself. That for the listener the, or the experiencer who's kind of um, listening, it can kind of it can be quite profound. Yeah. You know? But it's not all musicians yeah. who can have that effect on on the listener. Um, so yeah, it definitely resonates with what you're saying. But mm. it, it's quite hard to describe. Uh, is, in words, but I is. think um, I think music lovers and uh, <laughs> and the sort will kind of have an inkling of what we're trying to get at here. Yeah, a hundred percent. Again, it's one of those things you can speak about and talk about. The dig isn't an instrument either; it, it, it's in mm. keys, and I've got many digs. They're all in different keys. You can slide in and out of key with an extendable dig. Blah 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 blah. Mm. But um, you're also speaking through it. You know, you're making sounds with your voice, you're speaking through it, but you're, um, so you're telling a story. Mm. So you can make a rhythm, or you can follow a bass line, or you can place it into other music that's in key, mm. or you can just absorb what's there and let it fall out of you. And, you know, the, mm. both ways have merit, you know. Mm. And then when you, you yeah. Know, yeah, any, any, good, any good musician or artist, once you get to that point, and you can tell a story with your fingers. <laughs> You know, a good guitarist will put you straight in the desert on a horse that's lost. <laughs> you know, old mate's lost his hat and he's thirsty, and you can tell that by that riff. <laughs> you know, like, fucking, yeah. <laughs> Feeling that. Yeah, right <laughs> Getting on. Getting dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Not yeah. everyone can do it, but hey. Eh? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it takes a certain amount of like surrendering to the instrument. Yeah. And like almost. Like, you get into that flow state, I suppose they call it. That's you know? what it is, 100%. It's and that flow just, state. There's no difference between your body and the instrument now. It's just merged into one and you're almost channeling from. That's <laughs> almost the words that I use to, to explain it to people. To, yeah. to, to, when I'm doing yeah. a cultural talk, and I get so aware of what I'm drawing in mm. and I'm putting it back onto the earth that you fall into it and you fall into it and, and the physical thing starts to disappear. My body starts to disappear and I'm just in this. Yeah. Push, pull, push, pull, push mm. in, out, in, mm. out, and you, and you get part of the fabric of it, and then you open your eyes and you sort of get to come back to yourself. Yeah, you right. Know, yeah. You just let yourself come back. You sort of shh. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Yeah, it's good for you. <laughs> well, on that note, uh, thank you so much again for coming on the Music Nest. Thanks, brother. Yeah, it's been epic. Yeah, man. Let's yeah. do more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We will. There's more yeah. to say. <laughs> All right. <laughs> more to so share. So thanks, everyone, uh, for tuning into the Music Nest. Uh, if you like this, um, you can help Brooke here uh, share his music with the rest of the world. And, uh, yeah. Uh, if you like to, you can give us a like or subscribe. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> you don't have to. Don't, don't feel obliged. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Well, peace out. All the love. <laughs>